Hello and welcome back to our channel. Hopefully you all will be fine. Let's start today information Intel Roundup. Updates on Iraqi DNR and global perspectives. Clarifications on Forex listing. A respected Middle Eastern expert addressed a common misconception about the Iraqi dinar's presence on Forex. He explained that every currency in the world is listed on Forex, though not all are actively traded. Some currencies are classified as frozen, meaning they cannot be freely bought or sold. However, he noted that all currencies, including the dinar, can still be tracked. According to the expert, the Iraqi dinar has recently shown signs of activity, even though it is not yet fully tradable. He predicted that with growing momentum, the dinar would eventually reach active trading status on Forex. Insight from Frank 26. Progress in Monetary Reform Intel Guru. Frank 26 shared updates from his Iraqi contact, Firefly. They reported that Iraqi television recently aired a segment highlighting U.S. Treasury support for Iraq's financial mechanisms. Frank emphasized the Treasury's strong backing for Iraq's monetary reform, particularly efforts to establish a new exchange rate. He explained that a major focus of this reform is distributing lower denomination notes, a critical promise to Iraqi citizens. Frank suggested that with the current educational campaigns around monetary reform, it's evident the process is already underway. He predicted the unveiling of these lower denomination notes within the next few months, suggesting that November through February is a key period in the reform timeline. Mars' perspective on oil and gas law and revaluation Intel Guru Mars shared a parliamentary update indicating delays in the oil and gas law, HCL, due to territorial disputes. However, Mars expressed confidence that these issues have been resolved behind the scenes. Drawing parallels to historical events in Kuwait and China before their currency revaluations, Mars speculated that media contradictions may be intentional to maintain unpredictability and curb speculation. Mars also highlighted statements by Iraqi Prime Minister Sudani, who reaffirmed the government's commitment to restoring the dinar's former value and positioning it as one of the strongest currencies globally. Sudani hinted at a potential revaluation by Victory Day on December 10th. Parliamentary progress in U.S. influence news sources, including newshound guru Samson, revealed that the Iraqi government has submitted a budget amendment designed to address ongoing disputes with the Kurdistan region. This amendment is currently under review by the Ministry of Oil and the Parliamentary Finance Committee. Newshound guru Pimpy shifted focus to the global oil market, noting former President Donald Trump's plans to boost U.S. oil production. This strategy, which positions the U.S. as a leading energy exporter, could lower global oil prices and impact Iraq's budget, which relies heavily on oil revenues. Pimpy speculated that Trump might offer Iraqi Prime Minister Sudani economic support to offset potential revenue losses, potentially easing some international restrictions on Iraq. The updates reflect growing momentum in Iraq's monetary reform and broader economic strategies, alongside international influences shaping the country's future. While timelines remain uncertain, significant developments appear imminent. 